So this one's a first for me. A uh, lighting company called Novsite. I hope it's pronounced Novsite and not Novsite, because I'm going to call it Novsite this whole time. They reached out and asked me if I wanted to try out their lights. Didn't send me any money, didn't tell me what to say in the video, just wanted to send me a, a set of lights and have me share my opinions on them. So why not? Like, what's the worst case that happens? I don't get lights in the mail. Well, sure enough, they showed up. Now, I've never messed with adding any extra lighting to any of my vehicles before, so this was total first for me. I am not in any position to, like, make a review and tell you what's good or bad about this product because I am not familiar with this liner product. So, I'm just gonna hook them up, turn them on, see what they do. I can't say I've ever heard of Novsite before, so I did a little bit of research. I went to their website and looked at what the product they wanted to send me was and went over to Quadratech and compared prices of lighting compared to theirs and what you get in the box. Not that I like Quadratech. If you've watched any of my other videos, I am not a fan. But I found the Quadratech lighting with the wiring harness, which is, you know, supposed to be the, the budget option. And Novsite's kit comes in at quite a bit less, which was you know, surprising to me. And, there's even some extra stuff, like a couple different light covers. So, cautiously optimistic. Let's see how this goes. And one last thing before I start the video, they did send me a link that I'll put in the description that you can use if you want to try these lights out yourself that should save you a couple bucks on the lights too. So here's the kit I got from Novsite. like the packaging. Ooh, instructions. Look at that in a minute. Then, all right, big old wiring harness. On and off switch. It's good that that's built in there because I don't have any auxiliary switches. And the pods, I guess. All right, here we go. Yeah, everybody loves a good peel. If I can figure out how to do it. Kind of tucked up in there. Oh, we gotta take the cover off. Ooh, that's pretty. Here we go. This is what everybody's waiting for. Fun. Whoop, whoop. Get it, Bram. Get the clear off it. Knob sight. I've never, I had not ever heard of this brand until they reached out to me and asked me if I'd try their lights. So, that's fun. Two of those, what else is in here? Amber cover. I like the amber cover, that's fun. Makes the lights dual purpose. I'm saying the word fun a lot. And then hunting hardware. You hear the neighbors making noise like usual. And brackets. Pretty good. Two brackets, two lights, two covers. Two brackets, two lights, two covers, wiring harness, and mounting hardware. All right. I guess we should look at the instructions. Oh, wow. There's not a whole lot to this. Connect to battery. Press the switch to turn it on. I went ahead and laid out the whole wiring harness just to see what I was working with. And I like how the on off switch is on a really long cord. So I really could mount that thing wherever I want. So I'll have to find somewhere useful to mount that switch. 
So when Novsite reached out and asked me if I wanted to try out these lights, I told him I don't have any mounting brackets to put them anywhere on this thing. And they told me not to worry about it. They'd send me some. So I got these uh, little simple, they're supposed to mount up here on your hood. Just kind of slip under there and then all the little Allen screws hold it in place. I didn't really want the lights up on the hood, so I thought I'd see if I can figure out how to mount them on the bumper. And there's a plastic plate, not plastic plate, a plastic shield in the way, but I figured out how to move it and cut a little hole for them. So I'm going to do that on the other side with this one. Okay, the way you get this plastic shield out of the way is by removing these I'm going to call them plugs. But you just kind of stick a little screwdriver in here and pry them out. And then give them a good wiggle and a shake and they just pull out. So we've got to get, oh, how many is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven of these. And then I was able to just kind of pull it back just so I could get the, the little bracket thing in there. So let's get those taken out. Pull this thing out of the way. Luckily these plastic pieces are flexible. Again, I don't know if this is the right way to do this stuff. It's just how I'm able to get it to work for myself. Right here, it's kind of a, it's just about the perfect shape for this thing. I'm gonna slide it in there and butt it up against the inside edge. That way both, both brackets will be on the exact same spot on opposite sides. All right, let's get this thing slid in there. Put it up against the inside edge and then the super fun, not at all fast, very tedious process of tightening these little set screws in. It's easy enough, even though it's kind of awkward to get them started by hand. Is it easy to get them started by hand? I'm struggling. Oh, uh, there we go. Stick your hand in there, much easier. That's tight as I get by hand, and now the really fun part is trying to get this little thing in there. I got the other side. Dropped the wrench in there repeatedly before, that's why I went and got my grandpa's, I don't know how old this thing, grabbing tool. So I can stick it down in there and get the wrench back out. We'll see if I need it. You have to keep going back and re-tightening the ones you did before. Tighten one, gives the others more room to get a little tighter. And this, bumper's pla this bumper cover is plastic, so it's pretty squishy. Get it nice and tight. Not going anywhere. So let's put this thing back. You can do it, little cover, I believe in you. There we go. All right, gotta cut this a little bit just to make room for that. Just a little, not much. Fresh blade in the box cutter. See if I can do this without stabbing myself. I'm really good at stabbing myself unintentionally during projects and we just gotta take this top lip off again without stabbing self nice all right got a little little chunk taken off of there is that enough Sure is. Pop it up under those screws. There you go. Looks like it was meant to be there. Let's get all those little stud things back in. I 
Okay, time to figure out the lights. Just thought we could test them out before figuring out where I want to put these wires. Here goes nothing. Well, turn on. And don't look directly at them. They're very bright. Don't look directly at them. Sweet. Guess I get to figure out where I'm putting these wires now. Unfortunately, my phone turned itself off because it's too hot out here. So the whole me crawling around wiring the thing didn't get recorded. So I guess you just get to see the final product, which that black blends in, that black blends in real good. I'm pretty happy with my decision to put these things on the bumper. Yeah, that turned out well. But the wiring was it real easy. There's a nice big cavity on this front passenger side to put the fistful of wires that are all zip tied in a nice wad. And then it just ran I just ran up here underneath this this guy, this plastic fake skid plate. So, it was pretty easy. And then I've got the button, turn it on and off, right here, under the hood. Ideally, the button would be on the inside, but I didn't feel like making any holes. This will work. Yeah. We'll have to wait till it gets dark and see how bright they are. Seems pretty bright to me. So what do I think? Well, they installed easy, they look good on the truck, they work, they seem bright. 
I don't know. What do you think? Do they look any good? Are they priced right? Do we think they'll last a long time? Yeah, let me know what you think. As always, thanks so much for watching. Stupid microphone is pointing the wrong direction.